Hi, this is Vicki. Welcome to Center at Home. Um, today I'm going to go over my fall basket. I actually create every year a fall basket where I have like all my scents that I'm going to be using, let's say for the last week of September or September, October, November, all the way to December to the end of the year. And then I'll always finish up with like one candle like in January, okay? So today I'm going to go over the single wicks. Um, some of them, most of them are going to be from Bath and Body Works and there's going to be some. The other ones are going to be from TJ Maxx and those are going to be the uh, brand Sensational. But um, So let's get started. The first one is going to be Cranberry Woods. And this one reminds me a lot of the um, Frosted Cranberry. Um, it's been a while since I smelled Frosted Cranberry, probably like last Christmas. But um, this one here, the scents are going to be is going to be uh, tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, and um, forest cedar. And I mainly get the cranberry and the forest cedar. I think I don't really get that much cinnamon, which I like, because I think sometimes cinnamon kind of is overpowering and it kind of overtakes all most of the notes. But not always. Just you know, sometimes you know. But this one doesn't have any cinnamon, which I like, and I do appreciate that. And that one I love. I only have one, so I definitely want to um, get another one of these, maybe two more, and then that'll complete um, this scent for the fall basket. So I'm only missing like two or three, maybe, maybe three or four, <laughs> four tops. Okay. So the next one is going to be um, pumpkin apple, and this one here. Um, it's not my favorite scent. It's, it's good. I like it. The, it's got the pumpkin and then the apple. And the notes is going to be um, red, delicious apple, fall pumpkin, and uh, fresh ground cinnamon. I guess because it's got the fall pumpkin and then the ground cinnamon. It's like too much spice for me. But the apple is there. The apple is there, but I don't know if it's the prominent note. I don't know what exactly. I think it is the prom. It is the prominent note, but since it has those two spices, it kind of to me it kind of overtakes the candle. The not the candle, but the actual apple. And so, but I really like it. it. It's good. It's not my favorite. It's not the worst or anything like that, but it's good. I have this one, then I have this one here, the main one. But that one's got puny wicks right now, so it's studding out on me right now, and it's two thirds. Well, it's two thirds done. So this one is a pumpkin apple. This one's okay, and I've already I've already melted that. Um, not melted it, but burned it. So yeah, so it's okay. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's not the worst. Okay, so that is pumpkin apple, and then the next one is going to be um, cider lane. And this one is oh, this one smells so very good. I love this one. I understand the whole I hype over this one. And this one, the notes are going to be. Um, let me see. It's going to be um, warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, and caramel clove. I'm sorry, ground clove. Okay. I don't really get the clove. I mainly get the caramel and the Granny Smith apple. So it smells kind of like a caramel apple, which I love. Oh my god, that one smells so very good. I love that one. I only have one. So I definitely want to get maybe two more. So that's two. Two cranberry woods and two cider lane. So that's four. Um, and then also want to get another one, um, the sugar lemon or something, I think it is, sugar lemon, I think it's, it's called, but anyways, I only have one cider lane, I want to get two more of those, and then two more of the cranberry wood, so that's four there, but this one is so good, I love it, it's perfect, it's such a great scent, I understand the hype over that one, it's so good, but this one here is going to be the one that I have the most of, and this one is going to be the pumpkin pecan waffles. I love this one. This one is um, so very good. And the notes on that is going to be, um, let's see here, maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. And I just love this one because, oh my gosh, I just love it. I just, I just can't get enough of it. I mean, I just can't. I just love it so much. And so I have five of those. And I'm going to pan it across here so you can see all the ones that I have. So that's mainly the ones that I have is going to be the pumpkin, pumpkin. Okay, so there's four here. I don't know if you can see that. There's this one too. There's four there. So that's mainly the ones that I have. Um, it's going to be pumpkin pecan waffles from um, Bath and Body Works. I love it. And these are such perfect, perfect size because I have a small room, so it does travel as long as I have like the door closed, the AC running, everything's going great. I get a very good scent throw. I mean, it's it's just enough to fill the room, 
and I don't want to, sometimes I don't want to waste, not waste, but light a whole candle, and, um, because I'm real stingy with my candles, especially the ones that I love, like I have, um, like the ones that I hoard on, you know, whatever, I, I'm very, very picky about, you know, lighting those, but these I don't really mind lighting these, because I have some, you know, I have backups, and, and they're not as expensive, right, they're like only eight dollars, usually get them for eight dollars, two for sixteen, so I love that one, like I said, Oh my gosh, I love it. I, I can't get, never get tired of smelling that one. So I have five of those. And the next ones are going to be um, from TJ Maxx. And this one is going to be um, Applewood. And this one is from Sensational. I don't know if you can see that, but from Sensational. And this one's not, um, this one's most just like apple and wood, like apple oak. And I love that scent, apple oak. It's really good. It gives a very good scent throw for these two ninety nine. Really, really good. These are like something you want to light, like if you know, just like for an evening or something like that. A couple of evenings, which I think two ninety nine is a great price point. I love that. And like I said, that they do have very good scent throw. I say about about a seven, okay, and which is good, you know, for two ninety nine. Seven or eight depends, you know, on the actual, you know, that they vary from the scent sent to scent, okay? And the next one here is going to be White Pumpkin Brulee. This one smells so very good. This one smells... Oh my god, you gotta smell it. This one smells like... It's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of cinnamon, but it's very, very faint, which I love. Which I love. And it's kind of sweet. I don't know, this, one, this reminds me of a, of a candle that I, I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely a very familiar scent. I love it. It's really good. Can't go wrong. Two ninety nine, and it's a very good one. I love it. That one is kind of like, um, God. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I love it, but it's it's good. It's really good. Okay, now I have another apple wood here. So, like I said, there's two of those, and then I have um, two autumn blessings. This one is autumn blessing, and this one is a little spicy though. But I don't mind. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. It's kind of like, I think, it doesn't have cinnamon. I think it's got more of a nutmeg, if I'm not mistaken. It smells more like nutmeg to me with pumpkins, okay? So this one's really good, and I, I like I said, I have two of these, okay? I love that one. And then, um, so then I have this one, which is not, the, this, I thought it was the same as the one, the brulee one, but it's just white pumpkin, not the, not the, um, white pumpkin boule it's just a white pumpkin and this one has a little bit more of a um it's kind of soft i like it it's really good it's pumpkin and it's got a little bit of like a perfume undernote i don't know what it is but it smells really really good but but between the two i like the boule one better but this one's really good too so and these are all like i said these are all 299 and here's another autumn blessing okay and then this one here, Hello Fall, I love this one. I wish I would have gotten more than one, but oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just so mad at myself that I, I don't know why I didn't get more than one. But this one smells a lot like leaves. It smells like apple with a little bit of, um, let's see, um, I actually have leaves here right now. So let's see what they have here listed. Yeah, it's got the clove. It smells a lot like that one. Even though this one, this one, the leaves has a little bit more of the um, apple. This one does too, but it's it's got it's got more of a. Um, it smells so much so similar, and like I said, this one's three ninety nine. This is a little bit more expensive, I guess, because it's got more of a design, or whatever. But I really love this one. I wish I would bought more because I love the color. The color scheme matches perfectly in my room because I have like a mix of like, oh my gosh, it's like I have pinks, I have beiges creams blacks and little pops of teal I love teal I just think it's such a happy color I love it and this is perfect and it's so cute I love the handwriting I know a lot of people don't like the quotables but sometimes they're cute you know not when they go overboard or anything like that and this one here is going to be also from Bath and Body Works and this one is going to be the warm honey and vanilla okay and this one I got the I got these last year and the notes on that is going to be um, Sweet clover honey, um, white orchid, and creamy vanilla. I don't get anything but the honey, only the honey clove. I don't like it at all, but I have to burn them because they may go bad, you know. So, 
but this one smells just like a honeycomb like because I used to meet uh, my family or my uh, you know my husband he um they used to have a honey farm and they used to be like you know bee farmer bee bee farmers and um I don't even know if I'm saying that right <laughs> beekeepers that's what it is beekeepers and they would have like the honeycombs and I can always smell that you know because I used to make um candles with the honeycomb and it smells exactly like a honeycomb um, but yeah, this one's it's it's not it's not my favorite. It's not. I, I wish they had more vanilla. But this one's exactly like honeycomb. So yeah, that's that one. I mean, I like the packaging. It's cute and everything. So I have two of those. I don't know. I'll put them right here so you can see them. I'll give it a little bit more of a background here. And then the last one I have is going to be um, from Lab, which I never heard of this brand. I got it at TJ Maxx also for um, $7.99. And this one I've had since summer. This one is not fall at all. Okay, fall at all. But it smells so, so good. Oh my gosh. This one smells like a very rich perfume or like a, like a tobacco. Not really tobacco. It smells, I guess it's saffron or something because it smells like a very perfume, a uh, perfumey thing. Okay, it says here, um, flower, um, what is it called? Tobacco flower, patchouli saffron and vanilla so maybe it's the patchouli that I'm smelling but because like I said there is a perfume under note on here oh my gosh this one smells so good so <clears throat> the reason I haven't lit it is because I'm waiting to find another backup <coughs> back of it a backup of it. it smells really good uh, I haven't been able to find one so maybe next time I go to um, I've actually gone to Mag looking trying to look for this and I haven't been able to find it but anyway, this one's really good, even though it's not fall um, themed or related. You know, sometimes you need a break from all those scents or whatever. And this is, I think this would be good for like a, you know, maybe another, like a, an evening that I want something different. But I definitely have to burn it, you know, be, you know, within these months before the end of the year. But anyways, that's lab. That's the last one. And um, like I said, this is going to be like a, I guess like a series or whatever. The first one is going to be the single wicks. Let me put a candle here so it won't look so lonely. Um, it's going to be the single wicks like we went over today. And then the next one, the next video is going to be the wax melts. These are going to be the wax melts that I've actually tried and tested. And I've tried like with mixing them with other scents. And not very many made it through <laughs> to the wax, to the fall basket. Because some of them were really, really too strong. And I tried it and I tried to make it work. And I didn't like some of them. Even though they ha they smell, it's just too strong, some of them. And most of them are going to be Swamp Creek, okay? And so, like, there's Walmart, there's Goose, Goose Creek. So those are going to be the ones that I'm going to just pick. And these are just going to be the ones that I feel like they're going to be fall basket worthy, okay? And in the last video, that one I'll have up, the wax one I'll have up in a couple of days, in about three or four days. And the next one, the, the last one is going to be the three wick um, jar candles from Bath & Body Works. And then I think I might have one from Tyler Candle Company. Um, that one smells really good also. But anyways, that's going to be, you know, the, like I said, it's going to be the single wicks, the waxes, and the three wicks, okay? And I might just throw in a couple of extras, let's say um, honorable mentions or whatever, and also some room sprays. I think there's like two room sprays that I really like. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. And um, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. And I really do appreciate you watching this video. And thank you so much for watching. And you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.